My name is Kaylee Brock, and I'm a software engineering intern here at Code.org, and I'm currently studying computer science at the University of Waterloo. Anything that we build with technology is to solve a problem for people. And so if people don't want to use what you build because it doesn't look good or it's not designed to be able to be easily used, then why bother? Because they're just not going to use it. So for me, design is always an integral part of every project that I work on. The user interface of an app is what we call all the components of an app that a human can interact with. Laying out and designing what the screen looks like, deciding what kinds of things a user can do, like click a button, enter text, swipe to a different screen. All of these are aspects of user interface design. Fortunately, App Lab has a feature called Design Mode, a design tool that lets you quickly and easily design your user interface. Let's see more about how Design Mode works. In App Lab, you'll see a switch right above the app that switches the toolbox from Code Toolbox to the Design Toolbox. We call this switching into Design Mode. In Design Mode, you can drag and drop user interface components onto the screen and position them wherever you like. You can also easily resize an element on the screen by clicking and dragging the little handle on the bottom right corner. Whether you're adding an image element to your app or background images for buttons, you can enter the URL of the image you want to use. If the image is very large, you might need to set the width and height numbers so the resize handle fits in the window. Instead of entering a URL of an image, you can also click the Choose link next to the text box, which lets you upload your own image and sound files from your computer to your app. When you upload a file, it goes into a list of assets you've uploaded so far. Once it's uploaded, you can choose that file. Lastly, you should know the screen itself is an element of your app. You can set the background color or background image for the screen. The screen also has an ID and can respond to events like any other element. For example, you might want to know when your user clicked on the screen. You can also have multiple screens in your app. To add a screen, you can drag out a screen element or use the pull down menu just above the design area. Once you add a screen, give it a meaningful ID. You can use the pull down menu to switch between screens in design mode. But how do you write code to control which screen to show? You'll see a command in the UI controls code toolbox called set screen. Set screen will change the app to show the screen specified by the ID you give it. Using design mode in App Lab is your gateway to quickly and easily making nice looking apps. You can add elements to your app, upload files like images and sounds, even add multiple screens.